Hello everybody and welcome to my presentation. My name is Ryan Storey. I'm one of the Academy Assistant Principals at Lodge Park Academy in Corby, as well as the Special Educational Needs Coordinator. My presentation today is that every teacher is a teacher of SEND. We have 16% of our students on the Academy SEND register whole school. Our highest area of need is social, emotional, mental health, followed closely by cognition and learning. I was appointed into the role of SLT as solely the SENCO and then progressed into the assistant principal position, still holding responsibility and title of SENCO. And it's so important that I feel that the value of SEND in our school has been brought into the SLT position in our academy because the voice of the SENCO is so important for any change in a school or for any transformational change within the area of SEND and inclusion, it's so important that your SENCO's voice is heard at the senior leadership level. So if you're in a position watching this pre presentation today, just make sure that if possible, that your SENCO's voice is heard at SLT level. And I believe that is a huge, significant change in our school. We have lots of sayings in our school for um, the day and um, the, the term and um, the whole year and I'm going to share some of them with you today. So every teacher is a, is a teacher of SEND and I don't just always stop there. I always talk about every leader is a leader of SEND and what does that mean? Well we are all leaders within any role that we are within a school. So when you step foot across that door into your school every day it doesn't matter what role you have whether you are part of the pastoral team, whether you are part of the site staff, canteen team, LSAs, pastoral, it just matters that you can recognise that you are a leader within your role and you can bring about change. And that's so important to hear that you are leaders and you can be leaders of SEND, not just teachers of SEND. It doesn't matter what role you are, you can bring about change and think of yourself as being a leader. I always talk about SEND not being a bolt-on, and it's important to know that if you can put your most vulnerable of learners, um, SEND doesn't always mean vulnerable, but put your most vulnerable learners at the heart of all decisions with anything in your school, then change will happen. And my presentation today is just from my experience. And we put our SEND students, because it was required at that time, to be putting them at the heart of all decision making processes for our journey for academy improvement. And that was so important and it, it was so valued and actually it brought about a whole school change. So think about that and consider that. We are able to now our staff articulate that every teacher is a teacher of SEND, but we don't just say that as words. We can actually now show what that means through our skills in the classroom and our interactions with our students. We recently had an Ofsted inspection um, over lockdown where the lead inspector given feedback was stating that staff at Lodge Park Academy really can articulate every teacher is a teacher of SEND at Lodge Park, but they also can show us examples. And that is where you can see change happen is not just repeating back a message, but your staff day in, day out through their teaching and learning in the classroom can show examples of what it means to be a teacher, that every teacher is a teacher of SEND. So we have worked so hard on our areas of high quality teaching and learning in our academy. And as a SENCO, it's so important to put that on a pedestal for all learners, inclusive approach, towards improvement between your SEN students, non-SEN students, whatever is about high quality teaching and learning. SEN practitioners work so closely with your teaching and learning lead. Think about and consider your approach towards teaching and learning in the classroom. And it's our bread and butter. So I almost think it's sometimes, it's okay to state the obvious, and it's OK to not think about it too much. But classroom practitioners, think about pedagogy, metacognition. Think about things like means of participation, check for understanding, feedback, link to scaffolding, um, modelling, check, circulate and react around the room where possible and safe to do so. And 
be consistent with your approach with anything that you are deciding to do. But relate everything back to teaching and learning and put that on a pedestal for supporting students of SEND in the classroom. And sometimes when you're having conversations about, so what are the adjustments, reasonable adjustments you're making for the student? Um, what are you doing that's additional to and different from? And I think this is just from my experience, some staff get a little bit scared and thinking, well, I've got to produce like a logbook of everything that I'm going to have to present to um, when I'm asked this question about a SEND student. And I've got to build up this chronology of all these um, historical moments in the class about what I've done. Just relate everything back to teaching and learning. So say things like I had to scaffold um, for this student. Um, I had to check for understanding. Um, I had to give feedback in this way. Um, I had to give um, some, I had to check how they were participating in my lesson because I didn't hear from them and I wanted to know what they, what they understood. So always just relate back to what you do day in, day out. And to me, that's OK. That's fantastic practice. Going back to being consistent and talking about cultures and beliefs. And before I do that, I want to speak to you very quickly about middle leaders. Don't forget them, please. When you're talking about send provision in the classroom or, or teaching and learning, like talk to them about why is your curriculum sequenced in this way? Um, why do you cr cross curricular links with science as um, a geographer. Why is that beneficial to our SEND students having sequence lesson in a good strong curriculum that's accessible for all? And we don't not allow our students to access our full curriculum. It's so important. So cultures and beliefs, what does that mean in a school and in my school? Tom Bennett said in his presentation, running the school as a leader's masterclass in behavior management presentation, he talked heavily about being the conscious architects of the school culture. Culture is shared values and beliefs. Routines are the building blocks of culture and consistency is key to culture. For me, I hold culture and beliefs in our academy so highly and so close it's really important and really valued to me that our journey for the transformational change that we've been on is about shared values and beliefs. So my question to you and to take back to your schools is ask that question is what are your values and beliefs on inclusion in your school? What are your values and beliefs on send provision or send as a whole in your school? And just listen and listen to the feedback and think about can you create a shared values and beliefs like every teacher is a teacher of sense. But also one of mine is talking about not lowering our expectations for learners with send, nor allowing labels to become an excuse or barrier to success. And it's important that we talk about that in the labeling sense that we had again feedback in our parent view on Ofsted and the inspector gave us some shared examples and one parent said that my child has ASD and they are not treated, uh, treated as a label they are treated as a human being and that is so important to me to hear my message our message being echoed back by our staff our students, as well as our community outside and our families, and they can give examples of. And John Katz, in his book, he wrote in addressing the educational disadvantage in schools and colleges. In his book, he said that we must ensure that our pupils needs, not labels, drive strategy. And that's something to consider as well when we're talking about labelling. Dr. Karen Treisman, she said about um, every interaction is an intervention and every moment an interaction can be an intervention. And that's talking to me about relationships. So if there's anything that you take away from my presentation today that every teacher is a teacher of SEND, there's two ways you can do that. That's all about holding highly high quality teaching and learning but also holding highly relationships in your school and building your relationships with your students are so important. So important for students that have social, emotional, mental health difficulties and other categories of need, but a whole inclusive approach towards your school is relationships. And 
thinking about my final message is going back to putting your most vulnerable of learners at the heart of your school. And if you do that, change will happen and be accounted and accountable for and judged on your most vulnerable learner or learners. So think about right now in the moment, who are they? Are they students with high fixed term exclusions, as an example? Are they students that are five years below their chronological reading age? Who is it that are your most vulnerable learners and who after today are you going to put at the heart of your school community in all decision making processes? We have set our bar high again in our academy and we talk about our, our readers. We're a reading school and we heavily think we're putting a lot into this now and we're talking about another mantra of ours is that every student will leave Lodge Park Academy with a reading age that is at their chronological age or higher. And again, put our most vulnerable learners and be prepared to be judged and hold accounted for in that sense. My final message, apart from have a great day watching other people's presentations, is that I believe the change that has happened um, from a quote from Guy Claxton, and he said that gentle pressure relentlessly applied um, is a great quote to listen to from the end of my presentation. And that's what we did and what I did to help transform our areas of SEND and inclusion across our school. We were gently applying pressure um, and we did it relentlessly. OK, so take care. Enjoy the rest of your day.